This is hard work and dedication. Fuck love, I like them better hating. Told me wait my turn. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be briefly talking about Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. I'm currently binge watching right now because I had no idea that all of the episodes would be immediately accessible. So it's kind of weird but it is what it is. I'm currently on episode 4 right now. Now before we get into you know what I'm, what I'm about to obviously discuss with you guys. Spoiler warning, so if you haven't gotten a chance to watch the series, please do not continue on with this video. But if you are going to stay and you have caught up and you watched the episodes that aired, please leave a, leave a comment. Let's discuss it. Let me know what you personally think about it. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe today. So episode one, man nostalgic feeling to see Justin and Alex in the same room together it was really really fantastic and Alex is still Alex you know what I'm saying like these characters they have grown they have aged up but they're still personally themselves the way that we remember them when we were growing up so Justin obviously the nerdy clean freak he's still the same way it's amazing and then of course Alex the rebellious uh you know, cool girl. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Now, we get a lot of that with the new character in Billy. We also learn that Billy is going to be a very, very important wizard in this universe that they have uh, created for us. So apparently she's prophesied as the world savior. Now, in order for her to become the world savior, she needs to be taught by a wizard with a lot of experience. Now, you would naturally think that they would go to Alex because she is the family wizard, right? But no, Alex brings her to her brother, which is, it says a lot about Alex, you know what I'm saying? That she has grown over the years to think fondly of her brother, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of cool. So we get to Justin here who has been living his whole life basically quote unquote as a mortal. He's trying to put his wizard life behind him and keep it under the cover. But you know, evidently things are going to always go wrong with the Russo family. So, you know, that wrongful thing happened to be Billy. The first day she comes in here, she causes a ruckus. She summons a closet monster that can um, basically turn you into stone or ice. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like Medusa, but in a weird, funny, kind of cool kid-related way. Anyway, um, we fast forward here. We learn that um alex is part of this sort of like tribunal thing so that means she's very high up in her wizardy world <laughs> i don't know exactly what it means but tribe means three so maybe there's like this power of three sort of situation and she's a part of it or something like that or maybe they're just like headmasters that overrule everything Whatever it is, she seems to be very important, but they seem to not have trusted her with training Billy. Now, we do get the rest of the family, and the rest of the family is actually very interesting because we have Roman here, who is literally a split image of Justin, just in a younger body. Same exact mannerisms, same exact everything. These two are literally a pair in a pod but then you have their younger son milo who is more expressive and more you know quote unquote how do i put this nicely well he's a kid you know what i'm saying so he's experiencing everything for the first time you know and he's he's supposed to be like i guess the wild card in the family you know what i'm saying seeing as uh roman is exactly like his father Milo kind of stands out because he's more like his mom. And um, at first, you know, Justin didn't want to have to teach Billy anything, but he does see that, you know, she is going to need a mentor in her life. So he agrees to teach her, but he also tells her that um, to keep the magic hidden because the rest of the family doesn't know about it. 
But then, you know, Billy spills the beans, obviously, that she's a wizard. She starts flexing her magic. So you get Roman and Milo. They start to believe. They get signed up, you know, yada, yada, yada. Now, um, we start to fast forward a little bit, and Alex takes her leave. We don't know exactly, like, when she's going to reappear, but she leaves. And then there's this whole, you know, prophecy thrown at uh, Justin at the last second. So... She is going to be a character that we're going to have to closely watch because I I don't understand this prophecy and I don't understand what's going on. But I do feel like maybe she is the reason for the prophecy to be created. Maybe she does something that causes, you know, the end of the world for them. Anyway, um, now we fast forward. Billy runs away because, you know, the mistakes that she has made and she's afraid that obviously she's going to be thrown out because she's been thrown out so many times in her life by, you know, other uh, teachers and probably other families that she has ever lived with. Now, for a child or a teenager to go through those sort of, you know, things in her life, it can be troubling and it can lead to some, um, it can lead to some depressing moments in their lives, you know, so... The fact that she was accepted by Justin and, you know, accepted by the rest of the family just shows, you know, that this is where she is meant to be, you know? So they do welcome her back. They do welcome her back, excuse me, after she had ran away. And um, from there on, she, you know, creates this sort of like... uh, how do I say this? She sort of creates this like promise basically that she's going to be a good girl. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to let Justin and the rest of the family down. But obviously those words, they get tossed out the window because she, um, she uses magic on the every day basis, like literally. And she's such a thorn that sticks out because everything with her It's basically from, you know, her past experiences being in the wizard world. So her being in this normal mortal world, she doesn't really comprehend too well with our traditions and the way that we do things. You know, everything is so odd to her and everything would be odd to Milo and Roman, considering what Billy has, you know, been telling them about, you know, the time that she has spent there. Now that she's here, she has to go to school. So they bring her to this middle school and her first day is to, tr- you know, her first day is like, the, you know, the little sort of like training that you normally get when you're going to school, middle school, high school, you know, you get the little walk through, but she didn't really get that. She got a Justin version, basically. Um, he flexed how he was basically the principal, blah, blah, blah. And she has to progress through the day on her own. So now she's trying to make a friend. And obviously she's going to use magic. So yeah, that goes wrong. And with her usage of her magic, she attracts a phantomist, which happens to be a smoke monster. And it's literally a smoke monster. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just traveling in the air because he's green smoke. And he's following the magical trail that she's leaving behind every time she uses her wand. Now, when it comes down to that factor, I do kind of wish that these guys would learn to use spells and not always have to wave the wand around because you're you're magic, you know what I'm saying? So you should you shouldn't have to always rely on your wand. I feel like that's too on the nose when it comes down to it. But she uses her magic and the monster gets uh, the trail very, very quickly, starts to possess Roman for a little bit. And then they all, you know, rally together and uh, the monster is released and starts to take control of Billy for a brief second. And then Justin comes in and helps her guide the monster and they trap the monster and then now they're going to throw the monster back into you know the wizard world or wherever it is that they throw or recycle monsters if you guys remember back in the day justin was a monster hunter so he knows exactly how to just you know to basically dispose of these things so that's just the little minor things that you know that are basically going to happen now we get to you know, episodes three and four, where we see her progress through school, 
uh, to school, excuse me, and, you know, she's having a little tough time with, you know, just adjusting because, like, everything is super weird to her, you know, this is not the wizard world, so, you know, everything is a little bit backwards, but it is what it is. She finally makes a friend in this uh, character, I forgot her name, but honestly, I feel like we could do without that character, but... With all things considered, that is uh, Roman's friend. Oh, her name is Winter. Okay, I remember. <laughs> so the girl's name is Winter. And like I said, I, I feel like we could do without that character. But then again, you know, we always need like that one character that sticks out. So if I had to make a comparison, Winter is kind of like the... She's kind of like the Harper in this situation. And, you know, she's going to be there. She's a ride or die. And she doesn't believe in a lot of things until, you know, they're actually showcased to her. So at first she didn't believe that Billy was a wizard. And then afterwards she, she finally believed it. She finally got the message. But now things are good so far. We get to a Halloween themed episode. And, you know, Billy wants to have a quote unquote uh, different type of, you know, Halloween. She believes that the mortal Halloween is not equivalent to a wizard's Halloween. So she wants everything to be more realistic. Now, in the mortal world, we dress up, we go door to door, we get candy. Some of us play tricks, you know, toilet TP to houses, egg houses, things of that nature. And it doesn't seem appealing to her. So she decides, you know, to make them believe in her version of a Halloween and then that thing becomes real because obviously people are starting to believe it. Um, then they have to go through this whole struggle of, you know, dealing with Billy's version of Halloween existing in the mortal world and it was not pretty at all. But they end up resolving the issue, obviously. You can see that she has the capability to clean up her own messes, but she also needs guidance and she needs people by her side. And, you know, things are definitely just going to go super left field from here with uh, Billy as a character. Um, but hopefully Justin can whip her into shape because if the world is going to end, they need her. It's kind of strange, I know, to rely on a 12-year-old girl to save the entire universe. <laughs> not Justin, not Alex. Now, we do get a mention of their dad in uh, the first episode. And I would assume that he's going to make an appearance in uh, the series. But I'm kind of wondering, what is he doing right now? Because if he's not teaching wizards... And Justin's not teaching wizards. Like, who is teaching wizards? Unless it's Alex, but maybe she has her hands full or something. I don't know. This whole tribunal thing has me worked up. I'm trying to figure out what does that word actually mean. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've gotten through with four episodes of Watch. I still have five more to go. Uh, so far, there has been a total of nine episodes that has been released. So forgive me. But that's my breakdown review of the top four episodes so far. What do you guys think? Comment down below, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next video as always. Peace. Another one. Wait a minute. Who are you? I hope my mama proud of me Cause I dubbed college just so I could focus on a dream I know my mama died of me, salute me nasty down with me Now two bros going back and forth, sibling rivalry The sky gotta be, do numbers like the lottery The coldest every winter, every summer, nothing hot as me And if I spring up, build my nigga on the side of me Ready for